Oh yeah, you see that. We're back at it again. Uncle Bokow got the Mrs. Bokow upon me left hand side. And this is the notorious yellow fever. The yellow fever. This is from Bellray Micro Farm. Jonathan, shout out to you. And um, this is, I guess, a variant of the yellow naga, but it's hotter. So we love yellow nagas. That's one of our favorite peppers, and I make tons of sauces with them. Yellow fever. I think this might have been a cross by Rocco, but not 100% sure. If you know who the cross, who bred this, comment below. Yellow fever. Uncle Bokow, Mrs. Bokow, let's go. Mmm. You really ate half this time and did me a favor. Mmm. <laughs> Super citrusy. Wow. What do you think of that? That's a hot one. It's hot, but it's good. Citrusy throughout. So, I'm still chewing on it. So, Mrs. some back teeth. Now, here comes the pain. Wow. <clears throat> Woo! That is a clean heat. That is such a good pepper. It's not... It's actually not as hot as I was going to be. Thought it was... It's not as hot as I thought it was going to be when I first bit into it. The flavor tastes... It's hot. Very, it like it's going to be... I don't know. The flavor tastes hot. But it's not quite as hot as, I, as it tastes. That doesn't make sense, but that's how I feel about it. Front, it does taste very good. Front of the, front of the tongue. Um, Did you hear that? Yeah. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Talk about the pepper. I guess it's... Um, I didn't, I'm not getting as much on the front of my tongue as, as he is, I guess. I'm tasting it like the back of my tongue mostly. At least the way I chewed it. I'm getting a little throat burn. I'm getting some burn on my lips too, but that might be from the first pepper I ate a little while ago. It's hard to tell sometimes. My lips keep the burn a little longer than the rest of my body. The heat is building. And now I am getting more on the front of my tongue. Sorry. But I agree that it is like a clean burn. I'm burning like crazy. I don't know what that means to Oof. us. <laughs> I don't know how to explain what that means to us. Oof. But. I don't know. A clean burn is just, I think just when it's citrusy. But I like the flavor. Not overly floral. And it's. You just get that good flavor, then it burns like. And it's it is hot. It's it real is, hot. It's, it's building. It's a builder, guys. When I, I first, was able to talk the first couple minutes, and now, whoo! The roof of my mouth now is on fire. Bad. Back of the throat's real bad. Yeah, well, when I first chewed it and swallowed it, I didn't taste much heat at all. I didn't feel much pain at all. Now it's, ah. like, it's like a. Eight and a half, I guess. It's eight and a half or a nine, man. And I only ate half, though. So, we shared this one, so I don't know. It might be a nine. Ah! It's, and, it's and plus, it's still me. building, so we don't even know yet. It's a builder, guys. That pepper caught me off guard. The taste was so good. <clears throat> And the burn didn't start right away. The taste was very good. It's choking me up. Whew. And and it, and this does it is burning my lips because my lips burn more now than they did ah. before. And I'm getting some burn in my jaw, which doesn't usually happen. <coughs> Back so my throat don't usually me, burn this as much. This is burning me in places I'm not usually burnt, and it and a and a yeah very hot. Ah. I think we should call it at least a nine, since we split it and it. It's a nine all day. It's still probably a nine. I'm eating half of there it. Here comes the right ear. Right ear is burning. My tongue is on fire. I feel like we call a lot of things nine recently. There's a lot of nines. We're getting really hot ones. We're trying new peppers. Ah. Just really hot ones. There's a lot of nines, nine and a half, tens. A lot of them nowadays. We don't eat anything below five. 
Yeah, that would be a waste of time, I think. I mean, I don't know what those peppers would be. Maybe we should scale things back and start and call, start calling what we would call them. Usually number 10, we should call that a five. So we can leave room for more heat later, I guess. I don't know. We need to adjust our scale. Cause, we, Cause we're never like below us. We're never below a seven. Cause we're eating super hot. I know, but we need to adjust it to super hot. <sighs> scotch bonnets, <laughs> habaneros. Why people come out with super, super, super hot? <laughs> On our scale, scotch bonnets, habaneros would be a two or a three. Fatalities maybe a And we a, haven't a, ever tried a five. fresh pepper X, so we might need to scale back. <laughs> we, we, we taste one of those ever. If we ever. Ah! He's gonna be in the Guinness Book of World Records. This is kicking my butt right now. In New York next year. Ugh. I found that out when I was trying to join the Pucker Butt Pepper competition that was gonna be in, ah. uh, I guess it was Charlotte, North Carolina, but they canceled it due to COVID. And when I called Pucker Butt to try and sign up, they said, no, it, that all of it's canceled, but we're gonna, oh, still building. We're gonna be in New York for the Guinness Book of World Records. Next year is the only. They were saying that's the only next event they have. I and I don't know what they meant by next year. I don't know what the date is. I don't know if they just mean January or if it'll be further into the distance. He broke out the yogurt because it's hot, and it is. It is that hot. I think. If I had eaten a whole pepper, I don't know what I would call this thing. A ten. Probably. I mean Probably that's good. that's that's. They said it's hotter than a yellow naga. It's way hotter. Because we eat yellow nagas. We eat the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, a naga is like a seven on our scale, I think. Woodpop eats a whole yellow naga in our mouth. And it burns us, but not, nothing like I way hotter than a yellow naga. Mm hmm Well, I guess it's a variant of it. Ugh. Yeah, that might be the hottest yellow pepper I've ever had. And we've had ah. some really hot yellow peppers. Yogurt made it and worse. we might have said that before, but I think this one might be the hottest. And it's a very good taste. We love yellow peppers. Oh. And the yellow and white ones, really, they would their flavors really will go with anything. Any meal. Uh, I like to eat the yellow ones with like breakfast type dessert the type. The back foods, of my throat has never burned like this. But they really would go with anything. I've had tongue burns, air burns worse. You took a really big bite this time. But never the back. He saved me. Never the back of the throat. I like gonna, if I ate that whole pepper, uh, I would not be handling myself probably right now. Because <laughs> I'm having a little trouble keeping my composure, even though I am. Holy mackerel. Because it, 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 is, it is, it's about, it's about all I can handle without being all, ooh, you know. I have never had anything hit the back of my throat like that, ma'am. I mean, my throat stings. Bad. I've heard some people say the back of their throat burns so bad they couldn't do anymore. And, uh, I sympathize with them now. When the back of my throat, I don't know what it is. I've never had, the back of my throat don't usually bother me that much. You guys see me in my videos. The, sometimes the back of my throat feels almost swollen. That's what it feels and like now. And I can handle eating things when the back of my throat hurts really bad. Even though it's not fun. What I can't handle is when my mouth just starts watering so much that I'm just drinking tons of my own spit. I'm <laughs> just, wrecked. And then I feel like, I'm, then I assume that I might throw up. I've never thrown up from eating peppers, but I always stop when my mouth starts watering that much because I assume that I might throw up. I'm going to try to start pushing myself through that and see if I throw up, if I ever try to do another pod challenge or competition, I'm going to see if I can just make, and say, I don't have a fear of throwing up or anything, it's just that I figure if I think I'm going to throw up, then I'm about to lose anyway, so I just stop, but I should just keep eating, because if I don't throw up, then I don't lose, and I might be able to push through it. So, right. Hey, yellow fever, Bell Ray Microfarm, it's a scorcher.